Where are you guys? Oh! Come on. Oh, I got him! Nice! Oops. Oh, shit! 1.7 bill cash stack. Oh, Tim, you are making some bank. Let me explain to you guys how this got boosted up so much. The guy that I fought and killed in the first clip offered me 500 mil to fight him, and I took him up on that. It's there, There's no strings attached. I didn't have to shout out him or anything. I just had to fight him in the wilderness. So I was like, damn, I'm not going to pass this up. He is a flower, so that's where he's making his money from, and that's why I kind of took the money, because I know that he's easily making it, and... I mean, if it was one of you guys and you came up to me and said, I actually got a message in my YouTube, I'll show you guys. Um, he basically was telling me, you know, Tim, I don't really like the EOC, I'm going to quit. I have about 90 mil bank, you can have it, I want you to have it. And I replied to him and said, you know what, man, you might come back one day, you might as well just keep it. I do appreciate your love, though. You guys know I don't support flower clans, dice clans, whatever. I have done shoutouts in the past, but I don't like doing them. And that's why you haven't seen any from me in a very long time. So with that said, guys, this is day number one of the marathon. I'm doing some staking today. And you're thinking, Tim, this is supposed to be some sort of skilly marathon. I want to see you working on some motherfucking logs. Whoa, wait a second. You didn't think that I, you didn't think that I was going to really, like, seriously max out all, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to skill, I just want to say that not all of these videos that I release are going to be based, you know, primarily on skilling. I'm going to add in staking, going to add in maybe some PKing if I get a chance to find anyone to fight. It will be a good time, no doubts, and at the Duel Arena in World 54, it's kind of chilled out a little bit. You can box now with overloads, and I know not everyone has overloads, but if you do use the overloads, it's 10 times faster than a normal box stake, so you're better off using those potions. As I started staking a little bit, I noticed that some of the opponents were drinking more than once. I knew something fishy was up, so I investigated and asked one of the persons that I was staking. They told me that there was some anti-poison glitch in the arena and they drank the anti-poison just to be safe. So that was the secondary potion that everyone was using and I've confirmed this because I've asked a couple extra people and they've all told me the same thing. Now they could be pulling some Ocean's 12 shit on me or I could just believe the fact that everyone's using anti-poisons and I think it's pretty safe to say that that uh, is what's going on. It's weird boxing in the EOC though, I feel like I should be switching styles or something. All you do is just sit here and watch your character punch. Can't even use those calf muscles anymore. Sing it Jagex, don't you know to keep your RuneScape character in shape, you gotta work out all muscle structures. Now see if he was able to throw in a few kicks, he just might have won that stake. But, nope. Just a little recap, I went to the arena with about 350 mil cash stack and we will see where I end up with. It's not going to be like a substantial huge amount, but you guys should definitely stay tuned and watch and see what happens.